What is going on YouTube? My name is Sergio Villas, and today, welcome to Armor 3. This right here, this is the Armor 3 map. Uh, <laughs> this is where we are on the map, right here, right now. This is an online server, and this is the entire map. This is the enemy bases. This is where we have to go. Um, <laughs> it is quite a big game. What I'm going to do first of all, uh, as you can see in the bottom right, we have money. You have a currency. You can get um, all bunch of guns. You can buy once or buy permanently. Obviously, thirty thousand dollars is quite a lot. I don't have that right now. I only have three thousand six hundred and fifty-five. You get more as you level up. I'm level seven. You have XP. He, uh, here are the amount of people. So on op four, it's on blue four, which is the blue team, which is is the team I'm on. The blue team. Uh, we have twenty-eight people. Red team op four have twenty-four, and independent the green team have twenty-seven. Green team are currently winning, they have 76 points. Red team have 32, we have 40. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I like to buy this gun, the MXSW. Um, yep. So I'll buy that. And then I will go to scope. And I like... I like to buy this gun, so I'm gonna get this one. So basically, the premise of... Well, I mean, Armor 3 is... is I, I mean, if you haven't played or seen Armor 3 before, I have no idea how to explain it. it it's It's... It's a great game, first of all. It came out in, I think, 2014. Um, so it's been around for a while, but it's like a realistic army, military, tactical simulator sort of thing. So as you can see, the circle, this is the objective that we need to get, this uh, circle. And as it is green, that means that the independent, the green team, is currently holding it. These little squares down here, um, the plus indicate how many people they have in the zone. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven right now. And you need to get more people in the zone to hold it. You get XP and money for uh, holding the zone and being in the zone, killing people, all stuff like that. I'll try to explain it as I go. Um, what we are going to do is eject over the top of the base. Uh, so there's one tower. You can see we are holding that tower. We have people in that tower, which is nice. I'm going to land on the floor over there. There's a helicopter over there. Hopefully no enemies. We're going to land... Hopefully quite softly here. I don't really want to take any damage. And we are down. We are on the floor. And we are moving. So, I mean, from the map, as you can see, it is a massive map, first of all. It's a massive game. And as I said, the aim of the game is to capture... As you can see on the bottom right, it says Objective Offensive. Um, so because we are now in the zone, we are going to start collecting some money. So those enemies right there, all these ones parachute now because they don't have the blue thing above their head. They are all enemies. So use the scroll wheel to open up your little um, like options, little thing. You can go first person, as you can see, another 100 XP and uh, money. So we have a dual scope here. We have a red dot and an ACOG sort of scope. Let's see if we can, if we can spot anyone through the windows. You can lean. You can do all sorts of stuff. I wonder who, if we have control of this uh, tower four or not. Team assist, we've got 20 XP apparently. Nice. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> so we're currently playing on Ultra. We are on Ultra Graphics. They, I mean, it, it takes quite a PC to run this game. Uh, you may see little stars here and there when you zoom in normally, but other than that, it runs pretty smoothly, all things considered. I mean, there's a lot of explosions and stuff. So on the top right is our little inventory. What we have, you can also press I to open up your inventory. So we have a gun with a scope. Uh, we have obviously magazines, we have a helmet, uh, binoculars, blah, 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 first aid kit. You start with two first aid kits, grenades, smoke grenades, stuff like that. It's a very tactical, real life military sim kind of game. Let's try to actually make a little move here. Um, I'm gonna push for, you're gonna be hearing a lot of gunshots. I'll tell you that much. Oh, there's someone on the roof there. Oh, I was just going to take shots at him, but he went down. You can hold your breath. Uh, with shift. And that right there is something that happens on this game quite often. Where you have no idea where they were. But they kill you. <laughs> so when you respawn... Um, you can straight up purchase the stuff that you purchased from the last round. So I'm going to purchase the gun and the scope again. Quickly try to get in the helicopter. I missed it. I missed the chopper. Some people just sort of run off or fly off without you. 
Um, but some people just, all they do is like spend the time, you know, transporting people. So we wait for another helicopter. As you can see, you can press P and there are approximately a lot of people on this server right now. Um, all fighting for that same objective. So if you press uh, the Windows key, you can sort of see the level. So this guy's a level 96. Um, so obviously he's very experienced, very good pilot, I'm guessing. But yeah, there's lots of different game modes in this. There's a Battle Royale game mode. Um, there's a lot of like co-op sort of uh, army missions. There's, there's a lot to do in this game. There's a campaign. Um, there's a massive, massive aeroplane thing flying there. A lot of people parachute. It's a really big game, as you can see. It's a very, very big game. And I'm gonna try to get some kills um, for you. Oh, that got shot down. Oh, damn. A couple of people posted up on the mountain over there. All right, let's see if we can get a good drop. Oh, is he gonna land? He's gonna land. Okay. Oh, there's actually enemies over there, so I don't see landing. There, there's enemies on Tower Three, so I don't know if you wanna land here. He does. Okay, we're gonna hop out. We're gonna hopefully not get shot. By the people in Tower 3. Boom! Got a kill. Got a kill. Okay, so it's a fight at Tower 3. There are a few enemies. Like this dude. Boom! Got him. Plane's gonna take off. There's an injured teammate around the corner. I might try to help him. Is there anyone else around here? I feel like there might be some more enemies. Oh, that's an explosion. Wow. Okay, let's take cover. Oh, it's a noob tube. I heard it. It's a grenade launcher. I heard the bloop. Oh my goodness, that's not a good place for us to be. Let's try to see out of a window if we can. I'm guessing he's up in tower three. Yeah, I see him in the corner there. I saw him up there. Oh my goodness gracious me! Level 7 killed us. With a side. That scared the crap out of me. We got a couple kills. But that guy absolutely. I think he sniped us. I mean, that was instant. So we're going to spend another 400 on our. On our loadout. We got a couple kills with it. Um, the pilot put us into quite a, quite a weird spot, really. I don't know, like, sort of put us. Where all the enemies were. <laughs> so there, that was at Tower 3 down here, I think. Yeah, you can you can be walking around, running around for like half an hour straight up, not seeing anyone. Or you can literally land your aeroplane, or land your helicopter in the middle of an, a, a war. Like in the middle of literally the entire other team like we just did there. So it's pretty much, you never know where you're gonna, which you're going to get really. We are going back to Tower 3 here, it looks like. I don't know if he's going to land again or... He's gonna go a different. I think he's gonna land in the fields here, maybe. Yeah, he's gonna land behind this time. Okay. Hopefully, no one's in that building over there. See, a lot of people don't get out. They just sort of transport you and then carry on flying. It's like they they let you out and then they carry on. Um, let you out so you can you can do your thing. They can do theirs. I think a teammate just died there. Someone. There's a lot of bombs going off there. By Tower 3. I don't really want to get too close to that, if I'm honest. So there's Tower 4. We can actually see some people running up there. More bombs going off near Tower 3. Okay, I'm, I'm going to get rid of, get away from Tower 3 because it's quite, quite a lot happening, I feel like. I want to go to the middle. I want to go to Tower 4. Probably shouldn't be running in the open like this. But another thing I really like about this game, because it's like a tactical uh, military shoot, it's not just like... Oh, I hear shots. Oh, I see someone, actually. I don't think we got him because I was running quite a lot uh, on the top right there that white bar which turns yellow when you sprint that's your stamina uh, kill assist so our team got him nice or someone got him at least it might be the red team you never know there are three teams remember not just two teams there are three um, but you do have stamina and the more you run uh, the worse your aim is like you are really really stuttery when you try to aim down the sights uh, what I was going to say before it ends, what I really like, there's a lot of different, it's not just like crouch, prone and stand, it's like, you can go from 
sideways laying down, to prone, to sitting, to really low crouch, to crouch, to half standing, half crouch, to hey, bent down standing, to standing up, to straight up. It's really... There are a lot of different stances. There are also people talking, which I, I should probably turn off. I thought I did, I'm not going to lie. Go, huh? Come on in. So we're right underneath tower four then. Let's see if anyone's there. They only have three more points to get, so let's see if we can quickly see anyone. Uh, and what will prob probably be our last life. As you can hear, it's, it's sort of like Battlefield. You can hear the, the music kicking in now that they're two points off. This was sort of a little introduction to armor three. Um, I sort of just want to show you around. Get some... Get used to it. I haven't played in a while when we die. Just before the game ends. Right underneath Tower 4. Um, I just want to record for a bit. Just to show you what Tower... I'm probably going to do a live stream. Of Armor 3, maybe. Um, where we go in depth. I might play some Battle Royale as well. Some different game modes. Just to uh, show you what kind of game it is. Uh, I'm going to end the video there. It's just going to be a short one. I just want to get... Um, show you around the game, sort of. Um, and show you what this game is about and I'll definitely because I, I, I used to play this game quite a lot actually and I recently started playing again so I'll definitely uh, bring more videos of Armour 3 different game modes as well not just King of the Hill this is King of the Hill by the way I didn't, I didn't mention <laughs> so you do get 1000 uh, money and XP for finishing the game so that's why I just sort of held on there that as you can see the 1000 1000 you can see everyone parachuting in all the different teams uh, Tower 1 was basically all red so so was Tower 4 actually but the independent green team uh, do get the victory. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Feel free to spread the channel. Greatly appreciate the, the support. Trying to hit 300 subs by the end of 2018. I've been Harry TV. I've been Armour 3 King the Hill. And I'm signing out. Bye-bye for now.